Hey guys, it's Derek with Absolute Tech. Uh, this is going to be uh, my first emulator uh, on the channel. I've done a lot of emulation, but this will be the first tutorial how to emulate. Because this new Nintendo Switch emulator is actually pretty cool and moving very quickly. And this one's going to be for the Mac. But really, the Windows one works very, very similar. I've tried it on both, and it works works pretty good. So, all you got to do is go to this website first. And I'm going to put all these websites in the links uh, below. And ry ryujinx.org, right there. And then we're going to go to the download. And I'm going to do it from Mac. But if you have Windows or Linux, uh, it works very, very similar. I will end up putting a video up for Windows 10 and 11 later on. I will not do Linux. But as far as I've read and looked into, it does work pretty much the same. So we're going to hit download. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to not going to download it again. Just hit download. And it's, it'll take a few minutes. I think it's about 200 megabytes. So that ain't too bad. And we're going to open it. And this is what it's going to look like. And one thing that you have to have to make this work is you have to have the product keys okay and you need to go to this website and i'm going to put this link in the description as well so you can pretty much just go here and hell i think it even shows you how to do it but do i did the i did both these actually but this one seems to work a little bit better you click it click the very top one and hit download uh say you had some maybe some issues you can play around with these a little bit but after that you need to take that download and it'll be your keys oh you need to go into here and you need to hit open and you need to hit open ryujinx folder we need to go to system and take those product keys that's in here. And I've already moved mine up here since I've done did this. But just h highlight them, move them into the system folder, and drop them in there. And then close this out. And that'll be done for that. And then after that, you need to go back to your browser. And then go to this website, which this will be the next link. And then hit firmware 150101 and hit download. Uh, that'll take a second once you get it downloaded. This is pretty simple as well. Just go up to tools, install firmware, and install from directory. And then make sure you unzip these files first. Every one of them needs to be unzipped. And just click on it and then hit open. Now go inside of it and try to click on something because it will let you in there. But go back and make sure you just, here, I'll, I'll just go ahead and redo it. Um, downloads, firmware, and hit open. And it'll say success, well, mine says because it's already been on there. But it'll say successfully and then hit yes. Do you want to continue? I'm going to hit no because I've done did that. And then you can hit load application file. And this is going to be your switch files. Now, I am sorry, but I cannot tell you guys uh, exactly where to get the switch files. I know they need to be XCI or NPS, I believe. Um, but pretty much everyone I've seen is the right type. A quick search for switch games on google will probably figure you out there how to get them that goes against like youtube's copyright and stuff and i don't want to violate vi violate any of that i'm trying to grow this channel but then you can just hit open because i got this pokemon let's go pika now i've never played this game and it loads in and I don't have a controller hooked up at the moment. But yes, everything does seem to work. You can go into here. Um, say you wanted to... Where's that? Settings. You can map the input. 
So say you get like an Xbox controller or a PlayStation 4 controller, you can just go in here and map your input. You can also do it obviously right here up and down with the uh, keys if you'd like to do it that way. That seems very, very difficult with the way this is set up, obviously. Um, and then just hit apply or save the profile. So when you save the profile, it'll load back in next time. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything. Okay, so if you guys are on the Windows, I would recommend using Vulkan. Try Vulkan. Uh, I use OpenGL and it seemed to be a bit laggy and I played around with this a little bit. I mean, it, it could be, I have a AMD card, so Vulkan does seem to work a little bit better for AMD cards. So if you have a uh, NVIDIA card, OpenGL may be better for you. You know, I'd play around with that. It's not going to hurt anything. Just make sure you hit save and apply. Uh, I'm trying to think anything else you guys need to know to get this going. But yeah, it, this is a very quick, easy emulator. If you guys want to see more emulation, like I've been working on one for the PlayStation 4. Uh, PlayStation 3 obviously works. Xbox, original Xbox. And so on. Another thing is check out my uh, my streaming channel. It's it's D Rock. Check that out. And uh, I, I'm on there every uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Have a good one, guys.